What's up guys? Andrew here. Um, I ordered $100 worth of stuff off of Timu and uh, we're going to open it up here and see what it looks like. Um, just ordered kind of random little things here and there for me to play with and for the old lady and everything else and we'll see what, see what it looks like. I still have a couple more packages coming yet. Before we get into that though, I want to ask you to maybe like and subscribe if you would. Um, I do have that video of my skid sear of the uh, further repairs on it, so we'll get that done as soon as we can and a few other projects going on here on the farm. So anyways, we'll get right into it here, open this up and see what stuff looks like. Okay, so I guess for starters here, I ordered some of these things for my girlfriend. Now these guys, I'll just put the prices of stuff right in the uh, in the video here. Um, what did I get here? One, two, three, must have got four of these. So these are just little handkerchief hair thingies. Like they work for me too. Um, she really likes them for when she does her makeup, hold her hair back. Kind of a sweatband thing. I might wear them this summer. We'll see how, how the lion's mane goes. I mean, they were only like a buck fifty, so. Seems decent, kind of stretchy material. I guess it depends how much they'll fade, but for like a buck, you can't go wrong. I ordered these shredder claws. Again, for my girlfriend, because we made uh, barbecue chicken and she was not having a good time shredding the chicken up. So I got these stainless steel claws here for shredding up chicken or doing pulled pork or anything. You know, you kind of do one of these. Pretty, pretty sharp actually, it's almost a little concerning, but other than that, they're not, uh, yeah, they're kind of flimsy, but for a few bucks, I figured give them a go. So this is a drill centering device for doing um, uh, wood dowels. I recently tried to get into a little bit of woodworking, kind of playing around. The idea with this is you you set your distance here and then you put this flush on your two by four and then you can have, you know, you drill through these bush or these guides and then you have your perfect centered holes for your uh, dowels. So I'll have to try that out today. We'll see how that goes. For those of you that might not know, this Timu is kind of like the Harbor Freight version of uh, Amazon. Super cheap Chinese stuff, but we'll see, see how it works. Okay, what do we got here? A hand chain grinder. I don't know what that is. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so this was... This guy here was only a couple of bucks. And you're supposed to clamp it onto your chainsaw bar. And then you put your little file in here. Slide him in, put this guy on, and a little lock nut, comes with a wrench and everything. Wow. All right. So anyways, this is supposed to clamp onto your uh, chainsaw bar, and then you have a little, there's a little file in here, and you're supposed to crank it. It's supposed to sharpen your chainsaw chain. So we'll give that guy a go a little bit later here. I'll get that videoed up and see how that works. I got a Japanese flush cutting pull saw. I actually kind of wanted one of these and I've been uh, watching for a good deal on one online, but I'm going to seen this one for I think six bucks and I said, you know what, we'll give her a go for six bucks. Okay. Feels like it's in, I mean, kind of sharp. I guess we'll see how well it cuts. Uh, got a drill bit sharpener. This one I'll be really curious to see how it works, how well it works. 
So the idea of this guy is you uh, hook your drill up here. It's supposed to click over it somehow. I don't know. What, I don't know what the. They might just throw this in with everything. You hook your drill up here, and then you slide your drill bit in at your different angles. Here, here, and here. This is a 5/64 to 13/64 slot. 7/30 seconds to 21/64, and 11/30 seconds to half inch here. And you hook your drill up, and you just let her eat. So it's supposed to give you your angles. Well, we're definitely going to give that a go and see what happens. I'm very, very curious on that. Uh, I got several of these little um, temperature slash hygrometer hygrometers things that show you the humidity. Again, this is something I was going to purchase, and uh, I wanted them for the house. So it shows me that the air in here is 67%, so I don't think that's right. Very high humidity for winter. I mean, it goes up with my breath. Temperature went up, humidity went up. I don't know. I'll have to test that against one of my other um, thermometers here. I don't have any other humidity meter, hygrometer things, so we'll have to test it against another thermometer and see what happens. But I got a couple of them guys. I got four of them. I'll do this one. This guy is kind of hard to screw up. So this is a toilet light thing. My brother had one of these, and it is the handiest thing ever. So the idea is you hook it over your toilet bowl, you turn it on, and then when there's motion, maybe, we we'll need batteries. Everything else came with batteries. Yep, we need batteries. Okay, so the idea is you hook it over your toilet bowl, and then when there's motion coming through, it'll light up. So um, you don't have to turn the full bathroom lights on that blind you at 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, that should work. The box looks like it was ran over by a truck, but got a flashlight, little pocket flashlight. This is only, I don't know, three dollars or something. And uh, I always use my uh, Milwaukee pocket flashlights here for about twenty bucks. But I wear them out because I, you know, hold it in my mouth and it takes that grip off. So I got this one to see. For two bucks, if it works, I'll order a couple dozen of them. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, then I'm only out two bucks. Got this one for the old lady. Hip beautifying instrument. I think it's a butt massager, to be honest with you. Smells kind of weird. Uh, comes with a charging cord. So this thing's goes on your butt and does something. I'm not really sure what. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to let you guys see us test that guy. Uh, I also got this for my girlfriend. She is currently experiencing some pretty bad um, pain with uh, sciatica. And she's gone to the Cairo, and now she's at going to the clinic and everything else, getting x-rays, trying to figure it all out. Um, so if you have any tips for that, throw them in the comments. So I think you just kind of do one of those. Anyway, so it's a little back stretcher thing. You lay on it or you put it in your car. It keeps your back kind of doing one of those. Oh boy. Looks like there's four adjustments. Ah, there's number three. I don't think anyone's going to go to four. Four would be pretty aggressive, so. There we go. There's four. That one would be painful. I'll have her try it out. Like we said, her back's bothering her anyways, so. Might make things better. Uh, this headlight here, I also got this for my girlfriend. I'll have to look and see. I'll put it in the video how many lumens they claim this bad boy is. But uh, it said a lot. It was... I don't remember how much, but it was quite a bit. I mean, it's pretty bright to look at. It's rechargeable. It's got a red light. 
flashing red. Stretchy, stretchy headband. So I got this for my uh, girlfriend also for when we feed animals at night. I have a pretty decent one. My buddy recommended it off of Amazon. It was like 50 bucks. This thing was six bucks. It's supposed to have almost three times the uh, light output. So we'll, we'll check that out either down in the basement here or tonight when we uh, go out to feed animals. And we're gonna see how that works. Uh, it's got low, high, and strobe. Oh, so you do sensor. Oh, that's pretty neat. So you set it on the sensor mode, and then you put your hand in front of it, turns it on and off. I might have to buy another one of these. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Huh, that's neat. Shows here 800. Okay, it says it's 800 lumens, but online it did say it was something like 11 or 1200 lumens, but either way, 800, we'll see. Uh, takes three hours to charge, five hours of uh, high beam, 10 hours of low beam battery. Yeah, we'll test that guy out tonight. I'm pretty excited for that. She does not have a good headlight. So she's excited. Well, she doesn't know I got it. Actually, she might. I don't know. She's pretty excited to uh, have a new one. I think I did tell her. So we'll test that out tonight. And then probably the coolest thing that I was most excited for, and you guys might have already seen it, is a drone. It was only 20 bucks. So we'll see. It's got 4K cameras and everything. We will see how that works. Oh boy. Got a controller. Somehow I'm supposed to be able to hook this up. Oh, yep. Put my phone in there for the video. Um, oh! Comes with spare batteries. Doesn't come with... Oh, it did come with a couple of extra blades here. Another um, standard Android charger. These must be, I think these are blade guards you put on there. Standard Android charger, nice little Phillips screwdriver, and four extra blades. All right, guys, I got the other two packages here. Um, took, I think, four or five more days to get the rest of these. But I got them here, so we're going to open them up. I don't even really remember what this stuff is. I know what this guy is. So we'll get started on them. So this is a magnet. Comes with kind of a little uh, clevis steel. Put him on there. Clevis says 304, so stainless. It's not magnetic. Pretty decent, but definitely no, no 100 pounds. I was expecting, you know, like a 3-inch magnet because I wanted to go magnet fishing, not this little guy. <laughs> so I should have read the description. It probably says in there that this is only a, you know, a 1-inch diameter magnet. But All right, and then all this stuff. Got some sponges. Donald Trump duck. Couldn't, couldn't turn that one down. This is the Super Duper Elite Ultra Blight Bright Flashlight. I don't know. Four to six hours charge time. We'll check her out tonight and see. Uh, more sponges. My girlfriend's a fan of those... Uh, Smiley face, whatever they're called, sponges, and I saw these, and they were, I don't know, cheap. I was like, ah, what the heck, I'll try them. Um, oh, beer can holders, or covers. I'm excited to try those out. A light, and then a toy for my girlfriend's daughter, and that's everything. So... 
What am I doing here? These sponges. I mean, it's a sponge. We'll see how it holds up. I'll do dishes with it. I don't have any dishes to do right now, but I'll do them tonight and we'll see what happens after one dish if it's, or one, uh, one set of dishes if it falls apart or not. Donald Trump duck. That one I'm just going to put on my desk. I mean, you can already see that it's, it's good. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with this. It's not kind of hard to mess up. Uh, this is an LCD writing tablet. Uh, this was, again, only like $3, so I thought I'd get it for uh, my girlfriend's daughter for her to draw on and see. Kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch, but, you know, a 2023 version. Well, that's that. Um, light. So this is uh, one of those, again, super ultra LED lights. Um, I got it for the garage. The shop down at dad's it uh see a 6500k color um 120 watt it's a e26 lamp base so like your generic light bulb base obviously 110 volts 120 whatever it says 50,000 hours of light I don't recall, I want to say this is supposed to be 15 or 20,000 lumens, so it's a pretty bright light. So I'll be excited to see if that's the case. This wasn't too expensive, it was one of the more expensive items I bought, but I think it was like $15 or something. Like I said, I'll put it in the, in the thing there, but... Whew, smells like China. I love it. Flashlight, just one LED in there with a big reflective cone, extremely light. Um, it's also got this LED on the side, no instructions, little power indicator. It's really light. I mean, this thing is like less than a pound. I was expecting a little bit of gravity behind it, but there is none. And lastly, I got these can lid things. The reason I got these, so there's a lot of bees around my property in the summer, obviously not right now. And um, when I'm working, you know, in the afternoon or whatever, when I'm having a beer, it's, uh, you know, you set it down and you're working on something and just, I don't want to end up swallowing a bee. I've had it a few times where I've looked in there and saw a bee in the beer can, uh, had to dump it out. When I chewed, I'd set my chew can on top of the beer, but like I said, I quit chewing and um, keeping bees out of my beer doesn't seem like a reasonable, justifiable reason to start chewing again. So I saw these things, they were pretty cheap, and I thought I'd get them because they seemed like something that would work really nicely to set on your beer. Um, so anyways, I got these little guys. So, all right guys, that concludes our unboxing, um, showing the packaging and everything and everything that I bought. Now we're going to get into kind of a, a little test. You know, I'm not going all the way in to these testing, but I'll just give you a quick, quick example of everything and um, you can decide for yourself if it's worth it. If you have any questions about it or further questions, let me know, throw it in the comments. I'll answer as best I can. Thanks.